so welcome to another unboxing video from the players8.com. My name's Alexander, and today we are looking at 1759 Siege of Quebec. This is from Worthington, um, and this is part of their Great Sieges series. And I think this, oh, I think this is like the first big one in that series. What a beautiful artwork on here. This is touted as a solitaire game. But I have heard there is a two-player option, and I have heard it is pretty decent as well. So, it's got great artwork that you might expect from Worthington. I really like the look of their games. They have a distinctive style. This is the rule book. Yes, this is the rule book. And it is, at best, 12 pages long. Now, that's a pretty... Oh, no, it's not. Okay. I mean, it's pretty dense text, but really it's not. And they... Gosh. Oh, that's really good. Beautiful examples. Everything's in color. Oh yeah, this is exciting. When a rule book, when a rule book's like this and it's accessible, this is huge green flags for me. And this is design historical notes in very very tiny print. So if you got bad eyes, you don't need me to read that, which is nice. So accessible rules. That's a huge bonus for me. And again, like I've said. The production value and, and the artwork in these games are always pretty good. Worthington knocks out of the park with those, so. Here's field orders for General Wolf. So, these are the different orders that he can and can't do, basically, and how to execute those, what those might look like. And this is Montcalm. He has his version of that. These are the solitaire AI bots, I believe. And you have your solitaire sequence of play. Select one order to play. Reveal the solitaire counter order card. Resolve the action portion of the solitaire counter order card first. Apply the results to your order using the solitaire counter order card portion. Repeat above. And then there's a two player version. Okay, here's the map. I don't know about you. I really like this map. I've watched a couple people play this game and. I, I couldn't tell you what it is. I love this the style of old faux map looking games. I just do. I don't know, it's covered in blue and red blocks. Um, but I just really like it. Um, I, there's a morale chart here. Let's see. Quebec's here. I don't know if these are starting spaces for pieces or not. Not really sure how this game works as such, but there's a whole bunch of blocks of blue and red. And these are these are sealed up in a very crunchy plastic oh, plastic bag. Don't normally see that in a wall game. But these are beautiful blocks. Sometimes you get blocks in wall games which Maybe aren't painted gray, or they're irregular in size. These are glossy and look very, very uniform, which is nice. And that uh, almost like a powder blue. Oof, that's cheeky. I like that. A couple of these sixes, and we have two stacks of cards here. Oh. And they did give a bag of bags, which is pleasant. Always like it when they do that. Nothing else in the box other than that cardboard um, shipping insert is what I call them. So these are... Okay. Is this... this? Oh, that's interesting. We're going to crack those open. So these cards here, look at the artwork on those. Gosh, I just love, I love old paintings. When I have that kind of stuff on my cards, when it's just eye candy to look at, it makes it more than just reading some text. But then you get the good um, little history as well. At Worthington are always good for that. Militia dessert, poor command coordination. Montreal supplies, militia morale, command conflict. Oof, yeah, aggressive raid. 
those are very co just cool looking cards. We're gonna crack these ones open. Don't know if this is. So those are for what's this? General Wolf. Okay, these are mixed in, which. Oof. Okay. These are. I want to say these are counter orders, I believe. So they, these are these are red, and then there's the blue ones for Montcalm, and then the gray ones that look like. I don't know if they're just generic, but why these are counter orders, counter attacks? Maybe that's for the solitaire bots. I'm not sure. So these kind of all get divvied up, but we'll just take a quick look a few of these. Kind of got to separate those out. So these are your French ones. British Navy departure, fire ships, raid on British batteries, Montcalm repositions troops, bad weather, fire ships, same thing. Those are all the same. Troops exhausted. Just really cool looking cards. I wonder if these are for two player. I'm not sure. We'll read the rules here in a second. These are order cards. I think. Oof, I don't know about that. Oh, oh, let's even show you these. So these do have those orders on them. So I think these might be part of the solitaire stuff. British Order 1, do all this stuff. British French Order 4, do that stuff. Maybe these are. You play with one deck in two player? that you both draw from, I don't know. But, what I'm really caring about, these are textured cards, I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know if you can see the texture and the light. These are a good strength card, and they got beautiful artwork on them. And this, especially if I'm playing a solo game, having some eye candy to look at, really, really nice. I've heard it's a pretty simple game, and it plays very quickly, um, but it's, Hoping it's fun and interesting, and I will play it solo and I will play it two player because I have heard the two player is actually really, really good. And when you have a solo game that's like, oh, here's a two player version, usually that's pretty flat. But I've heard that this is actually not the case in this one, so a lot to look forward to in this one. So this is 1759, Siege of Quebec, part of the Great Sieges series from Worthington. Um, this is out just now, it's a fairly new game, half the presses, so this is available uh, to be picked up right now. Uh, check it out, you'll be seeing a review of this one uh, fairly shortly from us. So appreciate you guys tuning in. I've been Alexander from ThePlayersAid.com.